guys, my name is Frank Ambembo. I'm a first year student at CPUT and we are here at Insong Church and to do our FIS assignment on input and output devices. Follow us. My name is Lilia Vasita. We are here to do our FIS assignment. We are in Insong, as you can see here. So let's go and get started. Hello, I'm Melissa Munga. I'm a CPT student in Financial Information System. We are here at Ilsong Church to do an FIS assignment. Follow us. Hello, my name is Daniel Kamanda Silingi. We are at Ilsong Church to do our video assignment, which is about identifying input output devices and explain the use. So, let's look at the great work. Yeah, I like signal flow. Okay, so well, I'll start. So basically, let's say from um, let's say from stage, you have your your instrument. Obviously, you plug in your cable into your instrument. Um, so obviously, you have your cable. You put it, you put it into your instrument or your your microphone. Obviously, whatever the signal there is. So then, go through the cable into uh, for the instrument, we have a DI box, which just uh, cleans up the signal and just um, uh, it diverts any like fuzzy buttons or anything like that. Um, so from there, it goes into a stage box. So a stage box would be like a snake which just has input on it. And then from there, it's just so you can basically, um, what do you call it, shorten the distance between. So you don't have to run cables from there to here. Uh, Straight like the little stage box, and then that, that will go into what we call it's also called the stage box, but it's in our Rio. So we call the Rio that works with this uh, sound disc, so it just converts those signals digitally. Okay, um, so with the um, what you call a network cable, then it comes straight here, which uh, it transfers um, signal as like at the minimum of like a, a, a gigabyte per second. So it's quick, so um, so obviously it comes in, um, comes in through there. And then from there we can um, show you. So then obviously we can pick it up and choose where the inputs are. So we have like 64 inputs okay, overall. So then we can see, obviously, if we plug it into the first one, then we can see. Um, this is um, signal going. Let's say your bass guitar is into the first input. Then from there you can assign it to a channel. Um, to your channel, there from there, um, it, then you control the volume. Um, so you can gain it um, and do EQs on it, like cutting highs and lows and stuff like that. Um, then from there, um, from there it will, it will just go to your main. What's it? To your main playlist. This is your overall volume. Would you out, would you output into your speakers? So this is also the same thing. So from there, so it works two ways. It's digitally, um, uh, Rio digitally. So from there you can take your inputs, and from there you can also from the desk you can also transfer to outputs. So meaning your um, your sound system. So then you can um, send out. So it just the only thing this is uh, the desk does is just it's the middle man between. Yeah. Well, the camera is the same thing, so we have in our, in our TV room. Um, so obviously, whatever we get there, we can send it sends to our TV room. It's, it's basically almost the same as a sound, like inputting and outputting. So then from there, we get the signal, um, we see what camera sees, and from there, we can choose what we send out to our, up to our screen. They output a certain frequency, this, this picks it up uh, for the mic. So from there, you literally from the back of this, you run a cable into your. This is our stage box. This is the video. So you, you input it into here. So obviously from there, it's from this digital signal you send it into this, um, which is like I explained. It's just pretty straightforward. Input to here, you get it under this, and then obviously we output it again. I understand. The use well. It's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a wireless receiver. Same with uh, 
this is our, our wireless thing effect. So obviously, so we can actually output um, uh, a mix, or you know, so the vocals can hear guitar, drums, or other vocals. So they have, yeah, yeah. So that obviously with earphones and then on window on stage because you can't, sometimes you can't hear, you can't pitch sometimes. So it's good to have. So you, obviously you can hear yourself, your your band, your thing. So essentially, this is also. In a sense, it's just a, it's, a, it's an output, so it's essentially your personal um, monitor. Uh, so this is the amps that can um, house our speakers. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the hanging video uh, and such. A, these are what essentially is powering it. Um, and obviously, at the, from the back again, it will just go into. Yeah, but uh, it's also digitally, so we just run it digitally. But if you need a kind of an event, which is like, like more like your IP things, like which IP address to use, and stuff like okay. that. Yeah, so that it, it gets a bit more complicated there. It's more of the built of thing, but it works one way. It, work, it should just work like a simple, simple input and output. Yeah. Which is pretty, yeah, very straightforward. Yeah. So basic so basically this is you see those white and blue plugs yeah. at the back of it, that's just power. So they would get power from these uh, boxes over here mm -hmm. on the floor here. Um, from our uh, it's called our three phase power. Um, and then obviously we just have data cables, um, network cables linking into it which sick and send signal um, from from actually from that thing. So these two units up here, as you can see, it says center LED and size LED. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is the center and another side. So we just run one network cable into the back of this from our from our TV room, um, which is essentially okay. We get the receive um, signal from the camera. This uh, this is how we choose what we put on. So it sends signal to this, and then and this machine process the signal um, and um, project it obviously on the screen. Random one. So, yeah, so this is a drum kit. Um, we just obviously mic it up, as you can see. Um, so, this is essentially just mics that run into, like I said, the stage box, which is a snake that takes it up to the rear at the back. So, then obviously, we get the signal from there, we EQ it, do what we need to do on the desk, and yeah. So this is essentially uh, active direct box. So obviously we just input our instrument straight into okay. here and then from here it goes to the snake. Okay. Yeah. So um, it it also serves like as a straight like uh, what do you call three amp amplifier just to um, boost the signal that it's getting. But also cleans it up, make sure it's like no buzzes or anything. <laughs> Yeah, this is our we call the iMac. So this is where you switch and choose what you want to put on the screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is our lyrics and scriptures um, uh, iMac. So that just sings uh, our lyrics and scriptures, and then you can obviously just talk up on our. This is what you call the multi view. So you can see the um, input basically. So you see there's the lyrics, there's media, playback. Mm -hmm. um, because that's just stored and you can just caption your saves to a memory so you can use it all the time. Um, and this is our media map, so we can send videos or whatever from here. So basically, from here, you choose, let's see, what is it? The evening college slide. Yeah, it's like still. So you preview the first, first one there, so you can see this is your preview screen before you actually put it on. Um, then from the AUT just send it to the program. So that's actually what we're putting on the screen at the moment. Sure, so you get all your input, input in there, and then you choose from there where it needs to go. Um, which that, you see, you know, it's, yeah, you see the source, and then you see the output, so you'll see the electricity that's polygon. So it's like a dial up connection, which is. Um, so there's no screen, so you can actually see it. the focus is here, it's not really, you have your headsets, you can talk to the camera guy, um, and you can just adjust your focus, you can get it out, 
um, the screen is for our programs so that we record anything. Um, so these devices are for recording devices. These are called Fix. Uh, so you can insert SD cards or hard drives. Whatnot, so you just um, so this thing actually just gets signal from there to the one you need to record. Um, yeah, so and then that is from there is what we use to switch and choose what we want to put up for the link and stream and stuff like that. So obviously if other people are going to get a choice of the stream link and all that. Um, yeah. So we, we give them we got little outputs mixes. Show you what I'm sending. At Sanchez. Uh, we did our FIS assignment on input no, and output devices and it was amazing amazing thank for the team and everything that we covered thank you because you watched this video hope you enjoyed yeah. subscribe, subscribe yeah. and like it thank, <laughs> you. thank you share it also <laughs>